Hey, what's going on, guys? Man, we right here at South Oak Cliff High School, home of the Golden Bears. I'm sitting here with four-time state champion, the great, legendary James Mays. Uh, Coach, first question, uh, like I always ask coaches, what are what are some of your team uh, uh, goals for the season? Well, the number one goal, obviously, is to uh, field the team because with the COVID situation, uh, it's so fluid right now, you know, uh, and being that the numbers are going up, we're just making sure everybody is healthy so we can make sure we get a team to the floor. That's the very first number one goal. And obviously, once that's been accomplished, then we want to compete uh, every single game, get better every single day. And uh, we got a very competitive district. Uh, this year they've added Lancaster. Kimball is in our district. And so we want to be competitive, real competitive with those guys and uh, compete and uh, get ourselves ready for the playoffs, you know, because we want to make a run as well as those other teams as well. Okay, okay. Well, that goes to, that goes to my, uh, my, next, my next question. Uh, uh, tell me, how, how, how is it, man, you know, coaching here at SOC with all the history and all the tradition and things like that, is there any pressure ever coaching at SOC? Because I know most of the time the goal for SOC, you know, you're being humble, but the goal for SOC is to win state every year. They, you know, they, they expect to win state. So so do you have any type of personal pressure or is it like any other job, coach, where you just go and do your job and as long as you do a good job, you know, you're satisfied with that? Or, or, or how does it work out being at SOC? Because I, I just want to, a lot of people probably won't know that. Well, I guess uh, it's a situation. Uh, it, it could be pressure field. Uh, because of the tradition, because of the history, uh, we've had a hand in creating some of that tradition. And so Still. we've got our own expectations about what we should do. So uh, it's not very, a lot of much pressure for us, mm -hmm. but the expectations, we have so much expectations. Uh, every year we want to compete on a certain level. Unfortunately, some years you're, you're, you're not as good as the others. Mm -hmm. uh, a talent level for our situation is just now starting to build back up uh, to the point where we can actually compete for the state championship every year. We have been competitive winning district in the last few years, either uh, outright district champions or co-champs, uh, but uh, our goals are higher than that. Our goals are state championship, making those runs. So that is the goal once more again. Uh, it's a great place to coach. It's a great place to work. Uh, the expectations are always high. The fans are great. You know, uh, they always are asking. They always keep us on our toes. Mm -hmm. And so these are some of the type, type of the things that, that we have to deal with. But it doesn't bother. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, I, I've come to, to, to enjoy it, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, I, I put that pressure as well on myself. So uh, yeah. I'm just looking forward to a forward to a great year. No, nah, coach, and I, and I would, and I would try to coach. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let everybody know for the people who don't know, because uh, you know we've been in the business a long time. So now, you know, some of the younger kids may not remember, you know, the, the 2000s. You know, now we're in the yeah, 2020s. Yeah. So you think about it, it's been 20 years, and for us it hasn't been long. But for these kids, you know, they, they, their attention span is very, very, right. very, very short, or what have you. So uh, just, uh, just tell the folks about a little about the history about what you have done since you've been here. Soccer. I could, add, I could kind of tell a little bit about it. I, I had to, uh, unfortunately, play to have to coach against you, <laughs> coach against you for years when I was at Pinkston right, High School right. in, in North Dallas. I took, ho I, yeah, I, I took, I took a whole bunch of butt whoopers from you. So I was, I was here when you were making your runs, you know, uh, your miraculous runs, four state straight championships, which is like unheard of or what have you. So what are some of the other accomplishments that you that you've done? Saying that if somebody here is watching, watching, don't know about South Oak Cliff uh, basketball, watching Taylor Mary Hoops uh, telecast for the first time, like who is this guy, Coach Mays, right, and you know right. what has he done? What are some you know the things that you've done? Some of the players, you know, great players you coach, you know, because you said it before, you have has your hand in a lot of this uh, great history. Right, so. right. Um, man, that was a great question, Ed. I've never been asked that. I've okay. Been asked a lot of questions, but that's a great, great deal. Um, for, for all the youngsters, uh, uh, SOC has a great tradition. We have always been known as a basketball school slash football school, track school. Mm -hmm. And so we have an uh, opportunity to produce some of the better athletes that came through. Uh, I was fortunate enough this past year to reach uh, my 500 victory, which was huge uh, for this community to be here uh, that long and to be able to reach that milestone. Uh, it was not only for myself, but it was also for the community. That's the big thing. So we won a lot of basketball games, for those of y'all who don't know Coach Mays. And so that, that's the one thing. I also coached, um, uh, coached some great players, and I know people say, well, I know he's going to start with that certain one. <laughs> I'll wait for it, but no, okay. I'm, I'm not going to start okay. with him. I'm going to start with some of the other great guys. And most recently, uh, we just had a kid 
to sign with West Virginia by the name of KJ and Johnson. Mm -hmm. He's going to be the best, best, best thing. He went up to the play for Coach Bob Huggins, West Virginia Mountaineers. Mm -hmm. uh, so KJ and Johnson, great kid that came through. He's going to be, uh, frankly, he's going to be a star. You may see him in the league one day. Uh, the other recently, 2015, uh, that came through, he just finished his career at the University of Buffalo, actually with the Brooklyn Nets right now, C.J. Massenburg. Great, great kid, uh, great talent. And so uh, he put up a lot of numbers, All-State kid, when he was here. So he's a great talent. And then obviously, you know, you have your Bobos, uh, <laughs> which is your Jamison Morgan. He was playing overseas right now, professional basketball. Uh, I think he was in Japan, China, I believe, the last time that I heard. Uh, also, uh, you had Kevin Rogers. Kevin Rogers is still a pro yes, overseas. Yes, and so sir. he's still making money playing this. And most recently, we had uh, Darrell Arthur uh, just retired from the Denver Nuggets, and he had a hell of a career, pro career, with Denver, 10-plus uh, years. Uh, so we've had quite a few kids that come through here that play on a real high level. We had several kids that played D1 that came through that I, that I had the opportunity to coach. We had several kids to go into college. We had several kids uh, to actually play professional ball uh, overseas uh, as well as in the NBA. And so, you know, I've been blessed, you know, to be honest. I've been in a great place uh, and worked with some great kids, great parents. Uh, parents, I want to just say thank you again for one. Um, there's so many players that come through. I think Bobo is actually in China. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's so many kids that came through here uh, that played on the, on the next level, either professionally or uh, collegiate-wise. And so um, we've had the opportunity to coach them. Coached in a lot of great games, co coached in a lot of big-time games, uh, uh, trend-setting games. I see right now they have the Thanksgiving Hoop Fest, which Glenn does a great job over there. But I remember back in the day when we first started those big matchups at the Union Arena, mm -hmm. uh, the Air American Airlines Center, mm -hmm. uh, those were front runners that we had a chance to participate in uh, during those times. And, uh, of course, the talent level was high for us now, uh, as it is with some of the other schools that are participating, which they do a great job. But we're looking to get back to that level, which I think we're, we're, we're on our way. we got great new facilities, great school situation, uh, everything that you can ask for in a school, not just an inner city school, but in a school period. I wish you could see this place. It is, it is magnificent. And so uh, we, we've had a chance to draw some of our kids back home, uh, which always helps. And so we're looking to get to that next level. It's a building process, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the build, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be honest about the build. Oh, well, Coach, hey, man, I definitely appreciate your time. I appreciate your loud Taylor May Hoops uh, coming today. Uh, everybody, make sure, like I said, you go to uh, my YouTube channel. It'll be on here, uh, Taylor May Hoops Road Trip, South Oak Cliff. Like I tell folks, man, I try to get in to, uh, uh, with people that show me love, that is good friends with me. I support who support me. Coach Mays always support me. Uh, you know, not trying to brag, but I've had several schools want me to come by. But I said, man, I went by Carter on Saturday. Now I'm here at Sock. I got to take care of the people that, you know, that, that, that take care of me. Uh, my suburb brothers out there, I'm coming. Uh, Coach Washington out there, Crown I'm coming. My, my, my other people, I'm coming. But right now we at South Oak Cliff High School, home of the Golden Bears. So like I say, tune in. Uh, go to YouTube. It'll be on there. Also, you go to the uh, website, TaylorMayHoops.com. Once again, Coach Mace, I appreciate you, man. Hey, good luck on your season, man. And I just want to say this. I'm going to say this live on camera where everybody see it. Hey, man, I love you. Appreciate you, man. Uh, you always show me love. I always been a great uh, role model mentor for, for a young coach. And like I said, man, my butt and my head still hurt for some of them <laughs> beatings you gave me back in the day. But, hey, man, I appreciate it, man, because they made me a better coach. They made me a better person. And no matter what I'm doing, Coach Mays always supported me. He supported me way back in 2011 when I started this, when I was just doing scout reports uh, for, for, for people. Him and Coach Bishop and a couple other coaches allowed me to go scout games for him. So I definitely uh, appreciate it, man. So I will always, for all the haters to say, man, why are you at shock? This? Hey, I support who support me. Coach Mays is my boy. Uh, I always go say that. I rock with Coach Mays, man. Uh, glad to be here. And on Marcellus Avenue, Taylor May Hoops, checking in, baby. Much love, Ed. All right.